On today's episode of Moto Cheese. Well, boys, it looks like it's running out of summertime. I gotta get back on this. Guess I'll finish up the console and then I have to do that trailer or else I'm not gonna be able to move that. I couldn't think of a more horrible job if I wanted to. And you have to do it. You have to. I took on too many projects this year, like every other year, and that's not gonna be done. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Don't be hating. <laughs> Even the bees don't know what to do. I picked up this fine wire stapler. Stainless steel staples that say indoor use only. Hmm. I wonder why. Not today. I'm sure someone will come on here and tell me why. Pretty good. Not bad. Yep, there's always a lot of waste. That's the way she goes, boys. That's the way she goes? That's right. That's the way she goes. That's the way she goes. That's the way you do the corners. Wow, I did. I screwed up big time. Didn't leave it long enough. That's what she said. Might just have enough. Not that I wanted to do it like this. She left a lot longer. Got a little bit extra here. Take advantage of that.
Well, that didn't work out too bad. Not bad. I had enough to do the edges here. So when I put the hinge on there, it won't look too bad. There. I never said it was going to be totally perfect. It look okay though. I can't screw that on quite yet. Let me put them speakers in there though. Looks good from your house. Yeah, I know I should have had galvanized stainless. I have a serious question. Why pretty much all the battery powered skill saws that I see, circular saws, have the motor on the right side and the platform on the right side? When all the 110 volt saws have it on the left. So then when you go to cut, this is more natural to have it like this. Right. Now I these, know. they always do it backwards. So now you go to cut. Stupid. I can't cut left handed. So it happens every time. I'm no expert, so just making it up as I go. What's kind of person to say a toad or so? But you know what? A toad or so. A fucking a toad or so. Let's see if she fits. Yeah. Yeah, looks like it's gonna work.
to feed this rat nest back in. Hmm. Some biscuit. Hope it fits now. What a mess, huh? Spaghetti. Greasy. Lock it up. Can you figure out how all this went. Been so long. So it looks to me like I gotta put the top on before I put this on. went to maybe it didn't even go up into there maybe it went to that and we'll figure that out later let's get this throttle bolted that's to shift it in gear and rev that's to pull it out of gear and just use the throttle yeah I think this went up to that panel. We'll see, we'll get through that rat nest, don't worry about that. Okay. Oh, it'll end up about where it was. Damn, I'm good. So good. Use two washers behind one nut. No, I didn't bolt it down yet. Cotter key. There it is. Don't do that at home. We're a trained professional. <laughs> I gotta do some wiring, so. I think maybe I'll leave this video off here. Oh, let me put this on. I gotta bolt this down, which I need another hand. I guess the next video I'll start on the wiring. Putting the shield on. That's right. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Ring the fucking bell, you fancy. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.